Hi, Sanaya. Hi, Noah, Nathan. Good to have you guys back. So today is Dress Like an Old Person Day in honor of the generation that is most at risk. Oh, uh, we are going to draw Pokemon today, guys, using simple shapes, because Pokemon are, are that. They're simple shapes with faces on them. So for my um, Dress Like an Old Person Day, I'm wearing my old work jacket. It's, all right. Oh, by the way, for those that are joining us and uh, that are new to, to our drawing channel here, my name is Mr. Leo. I'm an art teacher and a studio artist in Mira Mesa. Hi, Brooklyn and DJ. And uh, what tools we'll need is a, our, a pencil, an eraser, an ink pen, and a Sharpie. And I think I want you guys to also find something to color with, okay? I just have a small bucket of markers here. You guys can uh, color with color pencil, paint, watercolor, uh, markers, whatever you want, okay? So I'm gonna turn us to our paper here so we can get going. It's gonna be pretty easy. Let's get our pencils out. Let's go right in the center. And I want you guys to sketch first. We're gonna make a circle, pretty big circle too. Yes, you could use a black marker if you can't find your Sharpie or ink pen, no problem. It's the same, it's not the same thing, but it's similar, so it's good enough. So when we're sketching, we're drawing lightly. The only reason I'm drawing pretty dark is so you guys could see it, okay? But I want you guys to draw lightly, so we're sketching, right? And that way, we can kind of still shape our circle to make it look really nice. All right, so first the circle. Now I want everyone to make a stripe going across. So that's just one line. I know that was like a bunch of lines, but I was just kind of figuring out where the line should go. And then we'll make another one going across. And I'm sure you guys already know what this is if you've ever watched Pokemon once. Let's make a circle in the center of that circle, or yeah, of this greater circle here, right in the center. Yes, this is a Pokemon ball, a Poke ball, as they as they call it uh, for short. And then a circle within that circle we just made. All right, and again, if we're sketching, we can kind of make our circles a little more shapely. We don't have to invest right away with our first line. Okay, now let's get our marking tool, our markers, I mean, to so we could trace out our lines. So we'll start with the center stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and draw out the circle right in the middle then I'll draw the circle outside of it now let's do the two stripes on either end hello Good to have you. Thanks for coming back. Okay. So let's make both of those stripes. And let's get that circle down. I think this is where it gets a bit tricky. All right. Let's 
go all the way around. And I think that's a good enough circle for me. And this is going to be black. So if you have a black marker, you can color that in. The stripe is going to be black. <laughs> Hi, Fate. I'm glad you I'm glad you made it. So your mom got the internet fixed, huh? Okay. And we could wait for certain areas to dry. I'll get my eraser. And I like to rub the tip of my eraser out first with my thumb because you just never know if there is some residue or some dirty stuff on the tip that might help, that might hurt your drawing and smudge it. So we always want to rub the tip before we erase. All right, so I'm going to get my sketch lines out and that way my Pokeball will look nice and clean. Okay. Do you guys have a favorite Pokemon? There's so many of them. When I was grow when I was growing up, I used to only they, they used they used to only have 150 Pokemon. Now there's a is there a thousand yet? There's 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 quite a lot more now. I think. But I really love how Pokemon are designed. Because they use simple shapes and they look really good. Most of them anyway. So I'm going to get my red marker out. And we will just color in the top. You could use crayon. Watercolor. You like potatoes. That's not a Pokemon. Potato Mon. I wonder if there is one though. There might be a new one. All right. Tapu Tapu Coco. Oh, okay. I have to look that up. I don't know. I, I don't know if I've ever seen that Pokemon before. Okay, so that is a Pokeball. But another thing I want you guys to do, if you have a gray color, you could even use your pencil. Actually, let's use our pencil real quick. So if you use your pencil and you make an oval underneath the Pokeball, this is called a drop shadow. And that'll make your Pokeball look as if it's on the ground. And we could either color this in with my pencil. And then you could smudge it a little bit with your finger. Right? You see how that looks like? It looks like shadow. Or, because I already have my oval sketched out, I could use my gray marker. I can just color that in. Either or. You decide. So, so there. Now my Pokeball looks like it's on the ground. Ta-da! That's our very first drawing for today. One out of three. I think sometimes we'll do two drawings if the drawings are too complicated, but 
Pokemon are, well, the Pokemon I chose are pretty simple. Bulbasaur is awesome. I've seen some, uh, I've seen some Bulbasaurs, uh, that have, uh, Bulbasaur planners that have succulents on their backs. They look so cool. All right. So let's get our Pokeballs, put it aside for now, and we're moving on to the next drawing. Pokemon, gotta catch them all. All right. The next drawing, it's my favorite. Let's get our pencils. Let's find a place in the middle and lightly, just very lightly, sketch a line. Oh, you, you like Snorlax. I think Snorlax is pretty cool too. It's like a giant sleepy bear cat, cat thing. All right, so I put this line right here because it's kind of going to guide us in drawing our like half oval. So let's start from one end. We'll go up. See, I'm just sketching. I'll, I'll draw it a little darker for everyone else to see, but I want you guys to sketch. I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna try and keep the parts equal as best as I can. See, I'm just sketching and we're going down. And this is a half oval. I, I, I'm not gonna fill the bottom just yet. You like Ditto? Awesome. Ditto. Hmm. Okay. Let's make an oval. A little, not in the center of this area here, but a little above. Let's bring that oval up top a little. All right. Now, let's draw some eyes on e either, kind of like uh, slightly to the side of the nose and up above. So these are more ovals, but they're turned vertically. Do you guys know who this is? I think we're done with the sketch phase for now. Let's, a dog, no, this isn't a dog. Let's get our, let's get our marking tools and let's draw out those simple shapes. Let's get those ovals down for the eyes. It's not duck a roar, it's it's a very popular Pokemon. The most popular Pokemon. Way better than he who will not be named the yellow mouse. Okay. It's a penguin. It's not a penguin. Here. Let's fill up. Let's go ahead and get that half oval. Let's go up. Yeah, good job. It's a diglet. Good job. Let's go down. Diglets are pretty easy, right? And that's number two for today, but I have a surprise after number three. We'll keep this around 
and we'll color it later, okay? We'll bring this back after our third doodle. Mm -hmm. So I will do, we'll do the next, um, yep, it is Diglett. And for those of us who are coming in <laughs> just now, we are, we are doing the most famous Pokemon ever. Let's get our, let's get our pencils, you guys. Hey, cousin. All right. So let's go ahead and not in the center, but a little above. Let's make a circle, you guys. This one's going to be the most complicated one for today. And maybe we'll do Pokemon again uh, later on. And we'll, we'll do more of the complicated, the much more complicated Pokemon. But Pokemon are also just simple shapes. So circle first. And then down below, I want to say it's a box. But think of a box with very round corners like a um maybe no starbursts have pretty sharp corners still well it's okay just let's sketch out this box with round corners okay now um right here around the center of your circle here let's draw if we were to draw a not draw, but sketch a line that goes across, we can make a rectangle. And this rectangle is not going straight on like this, but rather it's, it's in this direction. So make sure you make your rectangle go in this angle. As, as opposed to this angle, this angle, guys. All right. Yeah, you guessed it right, Ezra. This is a Pikachu. Very popular Pokemon. So within this box, I want you guys to draw an oval, and this is going to be Pikachu's arm. So it has to be like a chubby, chubby oval, because because Pikachus are, are a lot more fun when they're chubby. When they had a lot of Brock's, Brock's Poke food. Okay, so ovals on either side, you guys. And remember, think of the angle that they're in, see? They're not straight on. They're at a slight angle. I didn't draw a perfect circle fate. I, I shaped it. See? See how many lines it took to make uh, a better kind of circle? You just have to keep shaping it. I think this was my first circle and it's wobbly on the right side. But as I kept adding more lines, then I got a better circle. So think of sketching like you're still shaping clay. And then drawing would be when you're sure and then you just kind of like chisel it on there. Okay. Let's make some smaller ovals here. This is going to be Pikachu's feet. And then on this side, think of maybe the far right side of this oval. That's going to be, and we bring it down, that's going to be the other foot. And these are half ovals, right? If I, if I continued them, they would be full ovals, but we just need half ovals for for Pikachu's feet that are sticking out on the bottom. Okay. Let's move a little above this center line we made on our circle, and we're going to make another circle right above it. And these are gonna be our Pikachu's eyes. And we'll put one here too. Is 
See, let's just gradually shape our eyes. And a little below the line that I made in the center of the circle, we're going to make a very, very small triangle for Pikachu's cute little nose. Then we need some, this shape is going to be like a really thin oval for the ears because Pikachu kind of has like bunny ears. So let's go ahead and attach that to Pikachu's head. And we'll put another one here. Remember the angles. Yeah, the feet do remind me of a rabbit, too. Is that what Pikachu is? Like a rabbit mouse thing? Okay. I want you guys to um, shape Pikachu's body with me. So we have most of the forms here to make Pikachu, but we gotta, we gotta make Pikachu a bit more shapely. So let's start from this ear. We're going and... We're going to follow this circle here, but we want to give Pikachu a little bit of a cheek. So we're going to go off the circle a little bit. See what I did there? And then we're going to bring it back to the circle. That already gives us a nice, cute Pikachu cheek. All right, and then we'll stop right there back into the circle. Let's do the same on this side. Let's start from Pikachu's arm. We're going to go down, down the length of his arm. And instead of following our box here, we're going to make something curvier like that, this wavy line. That makes Pikachu a bit more fluffy. And we're going to do the same on the bottom here. See, a bit more fluffy if we use these wavy lines. And Let's go from back here. This is going to be the back of Pikachu. So let's make this really round here. We're going to go up the length of his neck. And instead of going straight up like this box, we're actually going to curve in a little bit towards the head and then follow the rest of the head's shape. See? So now it's more shapely instead of just a box. Let's also do Pikachu's tail. So let's let's go from um, this angled rectangle that we made, and let's make a few points. Let's start from this corner. We'll sketch a line going down, and then a line going this way. It's going to be like a few zigzags, okay? Then a line going down this way, then this way. And this way until we reach the tail. Because Pikachu has like a lightning bolt tail, right? Now let's go from this uh, corner of our rectangle, the bottommost corner. We'll bring it down. And it's kind of right next to this uh, zigzags corner. We'll bring this line in out, in, out, and then in. That's going to be Pikachu's tail. And we might even want the rectangle to be a little bigger. Okay, Ooh. that's a lot of shapes. A few more things. Let's do Pikachu's mouth, which is kind of like an upside down bird in the distance so it's kind of like a i guess it's like a w guys a w and let's make a few more circles because pikachu has these big red pepperoni things on his cheeks 
And that's where the lightning comes out of, right? His pepperoni cheeks. And then we will draw little patterns on his tail, or not tail, sorry, ear. And then we'll get to the tail after. So these are just these um, diagonal, not, well, curvy diagonal lines, I guess. And then for the tail, the tail's patterns are just little zigzags down here. Little zigzags. And then he actually has some stripes on his back. I didn't know that. So he has one here. And then we'll do another one here, just like we did with Pusheen before. Okay, wow. That was the sketch phase. I didn't know Pikachu is that complex. So let's put away our pencils. And let's get our marker. Either a Sharpie or an ink pen. I think I'm going to use my ink pen because I like to see the, the variation in my lines. You're welcome to use any marker you have. So I'm going to pull out this ink pen. And I'm going to start with the ear on the top left. All right, so it's like the oval, but we kept it pointy on the on the top left side. And let's go ahead and make that line as well. So we're not going to close out this shape, okay? We're gonna go and start from this line. We're gonna go down Pikachu's cheek. And we're, there, and then we'll just get to his, uh, where his chin is supposed to be, but he doesn't have a chin because he's chubby. So we'll leave it there. Now we'll go from his shoulder, his or her shoulder. I don't know if Pikachu has a gender either. And let's go ahead and give him his little nubs. He also has little nubs. I think it doesn't matter how many fingers, just as long as you show that there's uh, hints of a few fingers. And then we don't want to bring this all the way up top. Just want to end it right there, okay? Now, let's go down here. We made this wavy. That way, Pikachu can look more shapely like, like a muffin. Like a chubby muffin. And we don't want to fully connect that line on the bottom. We'll just go down here and continue our wavy lines. And then over here for our half oval, we could go ahead. We'll draw the whole thing. But we want two lines in there to show some Pikachu toes. Pika toes. And then let's continue with this fluffy guy. Let's go ahead, draw our oval there, our half oval, and then two more lines for his Pika toes. <laughs> okay. So this oval. We're gonna try and mimic what we did here. We don't need to connect it. Oops, sorry about that guys. So from this line, we go down. Let's make some little hints of Pika fingers and we'll bring it following the oval, but we stop right there. We don't have to draw the whole oval, okay? Now let's bring this curve up to the neck, or we could start at the neck, might make it easier for some of us. There, a little curvy. And let's go all the way up to Pikachu's ear. Let's do, and let's go around Pikachu's ear now.
Don't forget this line. Okay, now we've drawn Pikachu's contour. Let's get Pikachu's uh, forehead or the top of Pikachu's head there. Okay, and let's do the rest of Pikachu's features. Those are much more straightforward. Triangle for the nose, beady, beady large circle eyes, And I'm going to draw a circle within the circle, but I'm going to keep those circles on the top left side. That looks kind of creepy right now, but when you color it in, it's more like uh, cute little orbs. Now let's do the pepperonis. The lightning pepperonis. And then the W. So cute. All right. Last thing. Let's get that tail down. Let's go around, zigzags. Yeah, this one's much more intensive than I thought. The uh, first two are really easy. Let's go down this angle, this way, down, and his tail looks like a like a lightning bolt too, which is pretty cool. And then here's the little pattern on Pikachu's tail. It's just zigzags. Okay, Whew, that was pretty. Yeah, you can you can give Pikachu a round nose. That's that's cool. I think I think that'll give it more variety. Um, while we have the marker, I think I'm gonna go ahead and color in the tips of Pikachu's ears here. And I still have to wait for my marker to dry. And so this is our third drawing for today. But I'll, I'll bring back Pikachu in a minute. I just want to bring Diglett back because Diglett was so easy. We'll bring Diglett back. Now Diglett is dry so I could erase my sketch lines and Diglett looks nice and clean now. I want to do something fun with Diglett. Let's imagine what Diglett's uh, bottom half looks like, because he's always he or she's always underground. No one ever gets to see what's down there. So let's make it up. So I think I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna get my pencil. I'm gonna go ahead and sketch the bottom half. So I'm just gonna close it off. And then I'm going to make some uh, some arcs, just like that. A few arcs. That's going to be Diglett's hands. But I think I want Diglett to have claws, because how can Diglett dig then without claws? Right? There you go. Oh, wait, that claw's not that good. I'll put it here instead. You can make your own body. You don't have to do what I'm doing. I'm just trying to give you guys some ideas. And maybe Diglett's bottom half, maybe it's wavy like a skirt. Who knows? And then I'm going to make some feet. Do you think Diglett will have human feet with toes like that? Gross. Just kidding. I think I'll make Diglett have claws like the ones on Diglett's hands. See, just like that. Kind of like Snorlax, Snorlax feet. And I'm going to do the same here. I'm just going to ignore those toes that I put 
earlier. That was just a joke. All right. So after you make your own body, let's go ahead and use our marker and draw those shapes in. It's all just simple shapes, right? One, two, three claws. And then down here, Diglett will have a nice wavy body like a skirt, protects from dirt. And then I will make big, big old feet with claws. And then we could do the same for the other hand. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. <laughs> That's my Diglett. I don't know if Diglett has a tail. Could Maybe you could give Diglett a tail if you want. Like a weird alligator tail. I'm not sure what Diglett would have for a tail. If Diglett even has a tail. But, um... Well, that's our Diglett. I'm going to move Diglett to the side a little bit or down below. It's going to dig down. Dig, 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 dig. Let's erase our sketch. And that's why we got to wait for the ink to dry or it's going to smudge so bad. Diglett does not have feet or hands. <laughs> but we don't know because it's underground, right? I guess we're just using our imaginations to kind of show what we think is down there. Can I show you guys? Oh, Hi guys, can I show you guys a piece of art that I made? That has to do with Pokemon. Here. So, look at If you're living in Mira Mesa, Maybe you've seen my Diglett out in public. Diglett, Diglett. And I think we'll call it a day for now. Um, and I really appreciate you guys uh, coloring in your pictures and then sending it to Angelo Art Page. If you guys have any ideas, you guys can give me um, Maybe you guys can give me a comment of your different ideas and then we'll, we'll get to drawing them tomorrow. Uh, I'll keep practicing and color in your drawings, okay? And I'll see you guys tomorrow at 9 a.m. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for coming.